Hello and welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and today we're looking at the High Grade Universal Century Blue Destiny Unit 1. I've shown the box art for this kit a couple times on Gunplay News, so you've probably seen it by now. Red Fire, Blue Destiny logo, Terrifying Gym Eyes, Swishy Saber, a free custom, you know, all the usual stuff. Bunch of pictures in the bottom of the box of the kit doing its thing, more Evil Gym, Story Info, MSRP, and Model Number. Inside the box we have 10 very funky looking runners. The label on the A2 runner is actually molded in a completely different blue from the rest of the runner. And that's just kind of a weird side effect of how they molded the A1 and A2 runners together. Oh, and by the way, only the C1 and C2 runners are carried over from the GM ground type. The manual for this kit's actually pretty small. I'd say it's about the same size as an IBO manual, maybe a little bit bigger. It's got some tech stuff on the front. It's got a color guide on the back. Some more story stuff. And by the way, if you haven't read Blue Destiny the manga, I strongly recommend it. Both the original and the 2015 remake are really good reads. Anyways, there is some weapon stuff as well. Marking application instructions, and nothing really on the inside. The sticker sheet's a little bigger than what I usually like to see, but I'll forgive it in this case since there's basically two copies of every sensor sticker for normal mode and exam mode. And the marking decals are pretty much what you'd expect. So when I built the Blue Destiny, I thought I had a pretty good idea of what I was getting myself into. I'd already built the GM ground type earlier in the year and I was pretty sure this was just going to be more of the same. And for the most part, I was correct. The two mobile suits do have their visual differences, but for the most part, they are built in the same manner. One of the biggest surprises of the GM ground type was its torso design. The attachment point between the abdomen and the chest was horizontal instead of vertical, which allowed for a lot of torso movement, but it could be pulled apart very easily. Then they reused that same torso design on the Barzam, and that had even worse stability. But just by adding one new piece inside of the torso, Bondi fixed that problem for good with the Blue Destiny. That new torso design takes a kit that was already really fun to pose and makes it even better. So his head goes up, down, and around. Shoulder goes up and up and around. Rotation, double bend, double ball joint. Forwards, backwards, left, right. Rotate, up, 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 out. Forwards, backwards, rotate, wiggle. Bend. And then down at the feet, this is pretty much the only other part that's different from the GM ground type. You can bend it off to the side and back pretty well. The foot guard comes up, goes down. The toe's got some bend. But the forward bend's not what it used to be. But it still gets the job done. So yeah, like I said, fun kit. Now to further your display options, you do get the same machine gun and shield the GM came with. And unsurprisingly, the kit also comes with a pair of beam sabers. They're stored on the legs just like on the GM and they're attached in pretty much the same way, but the connection this time is noticeably more secure. These flaps here are not going to be popping off as much as they did on the gym. And if this is all there was to Blue Destiny Unit 1, I'd still think this was a pretty good kit. But this is a Blue Destiny Unit, and because of that, it's got a lot of options. For starters, you get two different heads. The head I've had on the kit up until now has been the game version, but you get a manga head as well that is largely the same except for a few extra bits on the side. You also get two different colored visors. You get a standard green one and you also get a red one for exam mode. The visor sculpts on these two heads are also identical, which means if you want to have the game style head in exam mode and the manga style head in its standby mode, you can go right ahead and do so. When I was building these heads, I also discovered that the eyepieces are interchangeable. So I took the round eyes that are supposed to go in the game head and put them in the manga head, and then I put the more traditional Gundam-shaped eyes in the game head. I've always really liked how the round eyes of the game style head look since they give it a crazed, almost demonic appearance. When you want to swap out the head, it's as simple as remove, attach, and if this was the video game version, the exam mode transformation would be done right about here. But because the manga design for the Blue Destiny is, well, from a manga, there's a few extra visual changes you can make to set it apart from the standard version. More specifically, you can pull, pull, remove, remove, reconnect, reconnect, remove, remove, reconnect, reconnect, remove, remove, attach, and attach. Once it's all said and done, the manga transformation is really not that much of a visual change. The shoulders are a bit wider, the leg thrusters are extended down slightly, and there's some extra vents on the backpack. I wouldn't call it a necessary feature, but it's nice they included it. And that's pretty much all there is to see. Actually, hold on a second, I did forget one thing. He's got an open hand. And now we're finally done with the Blue Destiny Unit 1. I almost ended up not buying this kit just because I felt it would be too similar to the GM ground type but I'm really glad I did. They made some much needed improvements to an already fantastic kit. I would say that this kit is a definite thumbs up. 
With this kit basically being an improved GM ground type, I think this just might be high grade of the year. So as always, thank you for watching this video. If you're new here, do subscribe for more Gumplin news, reviews, and things like that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And as always, I'm Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.